Hello students, uh, you are welcome back. This is Mr. Shesi George. This is the continuation of the process costing, okay? Now let's look at this question. I want you to pause the video and quickly read through the question. All right? Okay. Pause the video, I believe you have done that. Quickly, the following data relates to process two and process three for the month of October. 100,000 units of 10 Naira each were transferred from process one to process two. You have been given the process cost. These are the process costs for process two and for process three up to production overheads, okay? Then, this is normal output, that is the expected output. This is what uh, the management expects, 90% out of 100% input. The management expects 90%, so this is expected output. Expected, that is the normal, expected output, all right? Okay, now before we go further, the addition of direct labor, variable expenses, and production overheads, they are called conversion costs. That is conversion. It's called conversion. Conversion cost, okay? That is direct labor, variable expenses, production overhead. It's called apart from the direct material. So this is called conversion cost. Take note, I'm using a stone to kill two beds by explaining to you some basic terms under this concept, all right? Then we have the scrap value. When you have a normal loss, loss that is expected to come out from the process, okay? That's the normal loss. When the loss is useful to some other companies and when it's sold, it is called scrap value. And here, we are told that it is sold at 3 Naira per unit. Then for process 3 loss or losses, it is sold for 2 Naira per unit. It's being given. Alright? So we are to prepare the process 2 and process 3 accounts, the normal loss accounts, the abnormal loss or gain accounts. Okay? So let's quickly uh, browse through the question. Let's quickly look at the question. So, we are going to prepare a process to account, but we need to do some workings here. So we have our workings, all right? So the working is calculation. I told you for each process, we need to calculate the cost per unit. Don't forget the cost. So we have calculation of cost per unit, all right? So we have for process two. So you write for process two. Are you with me? That's a working note one. All right. So you come with the units. All right. Then we come with the cost, the process costs in terms of total. Then you start with direct material plus the conversion cost, okay? Um, we are told that 100 units, 100 units from process one was taken to process two, all right? 100 units. So we have input material, input material. So you go by, that is 100,000 units at what amount? 10 Naira, and that is 1 million Naira. Okay, then we are also told that direct material. So we have our other materials. That's material. Okay, that is hundred thousand. You have been giving that. This is this. All right. Then we have direct labor. So direct labor is 135,000 Naira. The variable expenses, 
and that is 30,000 naira. Are you with me? 30,000 naira. Then we also have production overheads. So the production overheads is 250. Okay. Then so our total inputs, our total input which takes the hundred percent, all right. So we have inputted hundred thousand. Are you with me? Then the total. So you are going to add the total cost here. So you pick up your calculator. Okay. Let us add. We have one million. All right. Plus hundred thousand. Plus one thirty-five thousand, plus thirty thousand, plus two fifty thousand. Right. So that is one five one five zero zero zero. Okay. All right. Now you will subtract your normal loss. Normal loss. We are told that the expected output so is 90%. So if the expected output is 90%, the normal loss will be 10%. All right? So this is expected. Expected as a normal output. Expected output. All right? So what is 10% of this, which is 10,000? All right, then it is sold for three naira. It is sold for three naira, so it's going to reduce our cost of production, and that is thirty thousand naira. All right, then our cost here, so we just subtract thirty thousand from here. So this is minus thirty thousand, and that will give me one four eight five zero zero. Okay, then um. We have when you subtract this, this will give you ninety thousand. Okay, then our therefore our cost per unit is nothing but one four eight five thousand. Okay, divided by the ninety thousand, the ninety thousand units. So what do you have? You have divided by ninety. Thousand units, so we have sixteen naira and fifty euro per unit. So that's our cost per unit for process two. Now the next thing in the next video, I'm going to show you how to prepare. So with this, we are good to go. I'm going to show you how to prepare the process cost. Uh, sorry, the process account. So before you can prepare the process account, you need these workings. Okay. So I want you to replay the video for proper comprehension, all right, for proper understanding. I remain your lecturer, Shesi George. If you like the video, please do share with your friends. Bye for now.